Why, hello everyone! Welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon here on Playframe. We are about halfway through this first little delve, and things are going kind of okay, even though a little bit low health here and a little bit high stress here, but that's fine. Things could be so much worse. Uh, here next. Let us move forth with caution. Suffering a little stress there, that's all right. Running into a trap there, that's spring to life. not great. Suffered some purpose. damage and some stress. Don't love that. That's how it goes, though, in the dungeon. All right. Looks like an empty room. Hey, always happy for an empty room. Uh, next room. Only got two more to do. Hmm. All right, we got something here. Contains loot. Ooh, great stuff, too. Lots of food, uh, crests, deeds, and, uh, goodies. Fantastic. And in fact, we have a lot of food now. Usually you kind of, uh, sit on food to eat while camping, or, uh, if you've been wandering for a while, just, uh, because if you don't have food, your characters can get hungry and you can start suffering some negative effects, so you want to kind of protect yourself from that. But we got a surplus here, so let's go ahead and just spend some of it for uh, a little bit of a health recovery, especially on poor Izzy here. Yeah, we got a lot of food here, so let's just uh, take care of ourselves. Oh, you're full. Can't eat any more food. That's fine. You're in way better shape than you were. Um, all right, we're pretty... Our like, uh, inventory is pretty full here. We're going to have to start getting rid of some stuff or just finish eating food. You know what, let's clear out the uh, surplus food here, just to free up a slot. And if we need to free up another one, we can uh, put on a disease charm on somebody here. Like, maybe... you want it? Here, you take it for now. Cool. All right, moving on. Okay. Hmm, it's getting dark. Ah, there, see, there's that hunger thing. The exertions of adventuring have produced a growing hunger amongst the party. So, you can eat four food, one per person, and uh, get five health, or uh, eat nothing and take 20 damage plus stress damage. So, that's why you want to have food. And we still got enough to do that twice more, and we should not be here that long. So, we are good. It is getting a little dark, though. So, uh, let's brighten it up just a little bit. You know what? A little more. Uh, some of our party members function at their best when it is, well, honestly, even better lit than this, but good enough. We're almost done here. It's this room and one more, and this room's empty, so... Next. Last room. We just gotta make it here, and I think we're done. Then it'll be a successful delve. No deaths or anything. Hmm, I don't think we have another shovel. Nope, we're gonna have to do it. Taking considerable effort, which probably means taking more time, which means the light's going to go down. Without a lot. Of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. And a lot of stress, too. It sucks. As soon as this meter fills, as soon as one of them gets to 100, bad things will start happening. And you'll, uh... Well, I'm almost certain we're going to run into that, so, uh... I'll save that surprise for later. That's a lot. Okay. It's just one more encounter, though. We can do it. Hang in there, squad. And don't get stressed, Decker. Find your chill. All right, let's open with a grape shot blast and uh, soften up the front line. Nice. All right. Debuffs across the board. Good. Uh, you throw a plague grenade, hit the back two rows, and hit them with blight. Are they resistant to blight? They're not. Phenomenal. Play grenade. Hit him. Good. Good. So good. Wait. Less good. It's all right, though. You're hanging in there. And we've got a party heal. Or an individual heal. You know what? Let's do the individual. Yeah. Keep everyone topped off here. Take care of our peoples. Graveyard Slash is a very good ability to name. But boy... Does some damage. Hang in there, squad. You're doing great, and you're going to live. Uh, 
All right, so we can do this like once per battle, I think, like Bulwark of Faith. I don't think I'm going to do it right now, but it, it boosts the light of the room a lot. And actually, that would probably make it a very good thing to do. <laughs> uh, it marks a target and it gives us additional like 20% protection. So maybe I should do it. This is going to be a lengthy fight. Let's do that and let's mark a target. I want to mark that one because they can do stress damage to us and I do not want to suffer more stress damage. Stress damage scares me. Uh, yeah, let's mark that one there. Uh, Bulwark of Faith, mark a target. Oh wait, or do we mark ourselves? Whatever. Okay, we are marked, but we are also a little bit more protected. We're being tanky. Uh, okay, so here's an, like, an interesting uh, question. We could do a Grape Shot Blast and do like a little bit of damage to all three again. Or we could try to like actually take somebody down. Uh, and I'm thinking we do that second thing because that's going to... Uh, like the fewer enemies there are, the fewer opportunities we have to take damage ourselves. So let's do... Mm, yeah, Open Vein. Uh, neither of these can bleed. I don't think any of them can bleed, but can still do some damage, though. This might manage to kill this one. Let's try. Yes! Perfect. Okay. Now you... Uh, play Grenade. They're already plagued, so we don't need to do that again. Uh, could do a Disorienting Blast. It's kind of tempting, actually. It does no damage, but it'll... stun this one, potentially. Hmm. You know what? Let's do some damage. Let's start try to start burning through these, uh... uh... Oh, it's such a tough call. No, actually, let's uh, buff our buddy here who can do the real hard-hitting damage and uh, hopefully take out that front line jerk. Eh. No. <laughs> I hate the stress. Okay. We need heals quickly. All the heals, please. Hmm. Don't love it. All right, you're up, and you can do a lot of smite damage, hopefully, to this front line. Go. Solid. Dead weight, huh? Ugh. No. No. Stop it with the stress. Oh, no. We have suffered an affliction. All right, so this is what happens when you uh, hit 100 stress. You get afflicted. When heroes cannot take the stress anymore, they can become afflicted. This manifests in different behaviors and stat changes. Afflictions last until you send them to treatment in town, unless you can reduce their stress to zero during the quest. But that's probably not going to happen. So, uh, that's an affliction gained, uh, by Decker. Selfish. Uh, so that may influence Decker's behavior as we, uh, as we play here, until we can get that taken care of. Okay. You can't technically open a vein, but you can... Hmm. Hopefully we can kill this, uh, frontline enemy here. Good. All right. Uh, okay. Hmm. They're still plagued. And the plague grenade itself does very little damage. But... You know? It does very little, but that, like, tiny amount of damage plus one more tick of the plague damage could kill this bone cork here. So let's, uh, let's do it again. Like, I'm not super good at tactical games, so I I'm certain, uh, <laughs> I'm certain many of you have noticed- oh no! You are also selfish. <laughs> Alright, well, that one's dead though, thank goodness. Alright, one left. And- Whoa. Gently. This is how a life is taken. I don't even know what happened to that last one there, but thank goodness. Uh, okay, we got money, we got more money, and a journal page. Cool. And we've completed the thing! Uh, we're not gonna leave yet. I wanna see if this is worth opening. Uh, who wants to take a chance opening this thing? You want to? Uh, chest with your family sigil, sure. 
Contents are ours. Uh, deeds and crests. Good. More goodies. These uh, these sorts of things will be good for uh, upgrading our uh, our base camp. All right, we are done. We survive. But we've definitely uh, suffered some afflictions and a lot of stress for our first run. All right, lots of heirlooms. Yes, good. Very good. Yeah, see, it's uh, adding to these heirloom things here, which will be great for upgrading our base. All right. Uh, uh, both have the affliction selfish. I don't know what selfish does exactly, but it's not great. Uh, okay. So, what do we got for new quirks? Ooh. Paranormania. Obsessed with the paranormal. Hmm. And chance to turn any miss into a hit with Feta. That's great. That's awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, Thin-Blooded. Uh, minus 10% Blight Resist. Eh. Beast Slayer. Plus 10% Accuracy to Beasts and Crit Chance to Beasts. Awesome. And Clumsy. Minus 5 Dodge. Boo. It's all right. We are alive. The tents are pitched. Banners fly. And the corpse wagons stand at the ready. The circus has come to town. Ah, yes, the circus. I think the circus is a DLC thing, I'm pretty sure. And I don't think I have that DLC. Uh, so, tragically, we can't do that. That's okay. There's plenty of game to experience without it. Uh, severe negative quirks. Over time, some negative quirks will lock into place and become severe. Severe negative quirks cost much more to remove in the sanitarium. So we need... We need to get Decker and Dr. Bookworm some R&R, &R, or we're going to be in big trouble here. Uh, so, the Butcher Circus. A traveling circus has arrived on the outskirts of town, bringing with them all manner of crude sport. Enter the ring this week to relieve tense stress from all heroes. Uh, I don't think... No, we would have to download the Butcher Circus DLC. Not today. So, okay, so that's what that is, and no. So, okay. We do have here two new buildings at our disposal, and we're going to need to make use of them. So there is uh, the tavern, a stress relief locale. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. Yes. Uh, heroes relieve stress by taking part in activities at the tavern and abbey. Each activity has different side effects. Experiment to find the best activity for each hero, depending on their quirks. Committing a hero to an activity locks them in that activity until the next week. You'll have to take a different hero with you on your next quest. Yes. Um, so, uh, all of these slots are open. Decker, though, will only pray for stress relief. So, Decker cannot take advantage of anything at the tavern. That sucks. But maybe Dr. Bookworm uh, in town will only meditate for stress relief. Come on. <laughs> Boo. All right. Neither of these can uh, take advantage of the tavern. Bummer. But uh, perhaps the abbey. The cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. Okay. So, um... Decker can pray, and Dr. Bookworm uh, can meditate. Cool. I think... Yes, good. Those are the two slots that are open. Thank goodness. Okay. So, Dr. Bookworm is going to the cloister. It'll cost a thousand uh, gold, but they will hopefully uh, lose their affliction and maybe hopefully some of their stress for their time here. One can hope. And Decker, you're going here. <sighs> Y'all rest up. Get better. And we need new recruits. Uh, no, not I'm not going there. I'm going here. To the stagecoach. Okay. We have three new potential recruits, and I think we better take all of them, honestly. Uh, probably so, unless one of them is just terrible. Let's see. We have a grave robber. Good versus Eldritch. Extra HP. Suffers intense need to do specific actions. That's going to bite us. <laughs> Probably. Uh, they're pretty good in kind of the back rows. They can lunge and do additional damage versus blighted enemies. That's kind of cool. Hmm. They can... Shadow Fade? I guess fall to the back rows and get a bunch of boosts. 
Oh no, they can, uh, oh yeah, if they start up front, they can shadow fade and fall to the back row and get a whole bunch of boosts. Interesting. Um, poison darts, which are great for causing blight, which will probably combine nicely with lunge there. Uh, and once per battle, you can use toxin trickery to cure blight or bleed and uh, buff self. Interesting. Okay. This is pretty cool. Welcome to the team. And to those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. And let's get you a name also. Welcome to the team, Corin. Okay, yeah, wanted to check the spelling. Yes. Welcome to the team and you will be You know, what? let's give you your starting color. Why not? We'll stick with the starting colors. Uh that makes it simpler. You'll be green. And all right, we have another Plague Doctor, which is good since we did just lose ours, but also a Bounty Hunter. Uh, Bounty Hunters. Hmm, we don't really have any great frontline people here. Bit of a bummer. Um, let's see. Additional crit chance if their HP is lower. Uh, minus 10 stun resist and minus 10 damage if HP is below 50%. Hmm. Could be better. But uh, let's see. Collect Bounty, which does some good melee damage, especially against marked enemies. Uh, mark for death, which is how you mark enemies. Uh, finish him. Does additional damage versus stunned. Cool, and a high crit chance. And caltrops. Cause bleed. And debuff the target as well. Pretty good. Yeah, alright. I, I don't love these quirks, but we need butts in seats here, so welcome to the team. And the uh of the hunt. The promise of payment. What do we call you? You will be Amber. Welcome. And finally, our uh, new plague doctor, probably. Uh plus five percent scouting chance in ruins. Uh less max HP and obsessed with cleanliness, huh? Hmm. Uh slightly different skill set than Dr. Bookworm, though. They don't have Emboldening Vapors, and they don't have Incision. They do have Disorienting Blast. They do still have Plague Grenade. They also have Blinding Gas, which is good for uh, inflicting stun on the back two rows. That's pretty cool. And also Noxious Blast for the front rows, which can will cause Blight and do a little damage. I like it. It's pretty good. All right. Yeah. Welcome to the team. Uh, actually, let's give you a name now. What to call you? You are Cassina. Welcome. To the squad. Okay. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? Should we upgrade some stuff? We might do. We got a lot of uh, resources here. Let's start by going ahead and boosting our uh, roster size, since we are going to be running up against that uh, cap pretty soon. More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. Let's also go ahead and make this investment to uh, increase the uh, heroes available each time to four. Just so we have a little bit more, uh, uh, we can be a little pickier. That'll probably help us out. Nice. Now, uh, a lot of these places are still locked. Uh, and I think we're about done. We don't have our tank, uh, or our, the tank we've been using. I'm thinking we're going to have to put Amber up front, even though Amber is... Amber works pretty well up front. Caltrops is the only thing like, they can't use in the front row. Uh, Corinne's definitely more effective in the back. But Corinne could, like, start in the front row and always start battle by using... Uh, Shadow Fade to slide back to row three and have a big boost and be able to... Yeah, that's probably what we'd do. Uh, Cassina. Yeah, better in the back rows as usual. And I'd really love to keep bringing Eleanor so we have healing, especially since we don't have our tanky friend. Yeah, let's... Uh, okay. Let's embark and figure out our squad. Okay. So let's say 
Corin go up front, but you're not going to stay up front. You slide back there since you're going to get bumped up to this slot. And I think we're going to have to go with Amber for our front row fighter here. Yeah. Okay. So this will be interesting. This will be interesting to see how this goes. Now, we have several uh, quests available here in the ruins that we can pick from. Let's see. They all look short. Except for that one, which is medium. So, uh, and for that one, we have to complete 100% of room battles. That's a... It's a bit more of a tall order. I kind of feel like maybe uh, easing into those longer, tougher uh, missions. This one, we just got to complete 90% of rooms again. And same with this one. Eldritch Killing Incense. For, we don't have an occultist, so that's kind of not useful. Uh, let's do that one. Yeah, let's do it. Now let's provision up. Okay. Uh, we have a shovel, so that's good. Let's get food and kind of over-prepare again, but, you know. Playing it safe. Uh, yeah. I'm also going to bring one bandage, one laudanum, Yeah, let's go with just that for now. Yeah. It's still a short mission. It's uh, no harder than our last one. We can do it. Let's embark. And here we go. Face out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Oren. Hmm. Uh, Right-click on a hero's image or portrait at any time to bring up a detailed panel showing all the hero's quirk skills and resistances. Yes, of course. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I've never used either of these classes before, so, uh, let's prepare to learn. Um, oh, that's nice and linear. All right. Here it goes. Begin adventure. Uh, sax contents are ours. Money. Fortune waiting to be spent. Nice and easy. No problem. It's getting a little darker, but that's okay. Gah. Okay, we got spiders. Um, so these have 7 HP. No, they all have 7 HP. And these are spitters, so they're probably like long range and they might cause like blight and stuff. Hopefully not. Um, hmm. You can use Grape Shot Blast, and that seems like a great thing to do as our opening gambit. So go. Soften them up. Oh, that worked great. Well done. You go ahead and use your opening move, Shadow Fade. There you are. That's what I like to see. Uh, have we suffered damage yet? I don't think we have, but, um, eh, you know, why not? Feel better in advance, everyone. Okay. What can we do with you here? Collect bounty. We can mark a target uh, or finish. Um, which would do good damage. These are all going to do pretty good damage, even if an enemy's not marked, and none of them are particularly tanky, so let's just see if we can, uh, kind of chew through our enemies real fast here. Uh, similar accuracy, but this one's got more crit chance, so go. Yeah. Well done, Amber. Gee. Yeah. Yeah. Hate it. And blighted? Come on. Mean. Dang spiders. Don't love it. What is... I forget what that symbol means. Is that a... Mark... Oh, is that because you're marked? Okay, yes. All right. Uh, marked uh, attracts enemies and takes more damage from some attacks. Okay. You are definitely tanking. Um, all right. From here, none of the enemies are blighted, but could do some great damage. Uh, could do some damage and blight, or mm, no. Okay, let's let's just do some damage here. To this one. Mm, should have attacked that back row. We could have just 
dropped that one in one move. Oh, wow, you're back up here now. Okay. Didn't know that's how that worked. Interesting. I thought you would have stayed back there. That's fine. Uh... Hmm. Open vein. Yeah, just go ahead and kill this one. Get it out of here. Well done, well done. Hang in there. All right. Do a heal, please. Thank you. All right. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. No bites. No blights. Dang it. All right. Kill this thing. That's the stuff. Well done, Izzy. All right. Got some stuff and a spare torch. Push on to the task's end. Will do. Way to go, squad. That could have gone a lot worse. All right. Ah, we did some scouting this time. That's great. So now we can see what's ahead. It is a room we don't know much about, but there will be a battle. There will be a trap, and there will be a curio ahead. So, uh, well, fingers crossed. Okay. Hmm. Suffering that blight damage, don't love it. There's the battle. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you start with your opening move. Go. Okay. Uh, you... Get to healing. We're going to need it. You open with that grape shot blast. Phenomenal. And uh, you stop being blighted, please. Uh, okay. This one's got a lot of health, actually. I'm going to go ahead and mark for death you. Fantastic. Now, hopefully, once I take out these two here, we can start doing some big damage to this. Not good. Not good. Poof. That's better. Jeez. Hang in there, Amber. It's your first day. Uh, okay. You can't hit that one with Collect Bounty yet. Uh. But hopefully you can go ahead and finish this one. Perfect. Well done. Uh, and you can... And a Grape Shot Blast is definitely not going to finish either of these, so let's instead do... Hmm... Let's see if we can kill this one. Yes. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Keep healing, please. We need it so bad. Amber does specifically. Hang in there. Okay. Now, lunge. Ah, oh, okay, so lunge specifically as a move also moves you forward too, so you're kind of effectively alternating. Uh, poison darts won't, though. Uh, but I don't think... No, no, they're susceptible to blight. Maybe we should do that then. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. Poison darts. Hit him. Crit, even. Quakes. Beautifully done. Thank you. Oh, and you get to go again? All right, let's finish it with a lunge then. Bam. Beautifully done. Whew. Feeling all right, squad? Just hang in there. We'll try to get the heals. Coming soon. Uh, ah! Disarming traps. Scouted traps will be visible on the ground as you approach them. Select a hero and then click on the trap to attempt to disarm it. Some heroes are better than others at disarming. Uh, there it is. I'm glad we saw it, because <laughs> sometimes you just run into a trap and that's that. Uh, who's best at disarming traps? Uh, either Izzy or Corinne. That makes sense. Corinne, all you. Well done. All right. Forward. Mm. Altar of Light. A small holy altar seems out of place against the backdrop of corruption. I don't know what might happen here, but let's pray. Whew. Okay. Soothing. Good. 
All right, moving on. And empty room. Hooray. Love those. All right. Got a lot of rooms left. So even in this early game here, it's a uh, <laughs> it's dangerous. Um, hmm. You got like full health. You're doing pretty good. You interact with this. Uh, bookshelf full of old leather bound books. Skim through the volumes. A map is found tucked in the volumes. Oh, hooray. Lots of scouting. That's great. Lots of scouting. I love that. It's great knowing what's ahead. Ah, thank goodness. All right. It's getting a little dark here. Let's, uh, yeah, torch it up a little. We don't need added difficulty risk right now. Okay, we're hungry. We're eating. We're good. Hang in there, squad. And empty room. My favorite. Okay. Next. This room will have a battle, but two curios along the way. All right. Not so bad. Curio one. A locked display cabinet. There could be valuables left inside, but the cabinet's locked. Uh, I'm going to leave it. Since I don't have a key, I'm going to leave this be. Don't need it. Hang in there. And free torch? Free torch. Let's use it. Handsome reward. Oh. For a task well performed. Shovel as well. Let's keep lighting it up in here. Next. Things have been nice and uneventful for a bit, but that's over now. Okay. Oof. Eleanor, you've got a lot of healing you're gonna have to do. Alright, shadow fade. Goo. A lot of enemies to deal with. Hmm. Getting dire. Uh, let's do a grape shot blast. Good, good, good. Oof. It's getting messy. Um. I'm not going to bother marking for death. I'm just going to start. Uh. Oh, it does increase speed, though. No, I'm just going to start burning through these enemies as... Whew. I take it back. I will mark for death. You. And you will be my project. For Amber. Uh, he should self-heal, probably. You've got 6 HP. You've got 9. No. Okay, no. We should... We should do that. Okay. All right. Survive. Hang in there, everybody. Mm. Woo! Good work, Amber. I fear for you all. Good dodging, everyone. Okay. Uh. Alright, we got a marked enemy here. So, yeah, we can do some additional damage with this pistol shot, but not to the front row, of course. Um. Hmm. Tracking shot. Boost your own damage output, which is not bad, but, uh... Hmm. I think all of these are resistant to bleeding, yeah? Okay, yeah, so no bleeding. Um... Let's do this, and let's target you. Nice and buffed, okay. And improvement. Yeah? Uh, okay. We've used Mark for Death. We're good there. So now we can do added damage by collecting bounty on you. Beautifully done. That's great. Well done, Amber. Uh, heal yourself. Take no chances. Okay. We're hanging in there. Amber's feeling the stress, though. I don't love that. Uh, hmm. They're all weak to blight, and that's great. Let's... Hmm. Let's poison darts you... You. 
Wow. Critting a lot with that move. I love it. Uh, okay. Meh. It's all right. It's all right. Mm. Woo, Amber, you pro. Okay. Uh, do a pistol shot on that one. Almost killed. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Do poison darts on that one. Finish it. Yes. As the enemy crumbles. Fantastic. And finish the fight. Almost. Almost. So close. That's Actually, this is good. It's giving us a little more time to heal. Who needs it most? 11 HP, 12, 14. Ye yes. Good, good, good. All right. Hang in there. Yes, Izzy. So evasive. All right. And yeah, let's go ahead and finish this with a lunge. Goo. Yeah. Way to go, squad. We got riches. We got a bandage for if anyone starts bleeding. Uh, debuff stone. Nice. And vengeful greaves for if we ever get an arbalest. Way to go, team. Way to hang in there. We've got four rooms left. Or actually, maybe just three. We only gotta get through 95% of the rooms. Or 90% of the rooms, so I think just three more rooms to survive. And this one's empty. And there's a curio and an obstacle in the way. It's not so bad. Alright. There's the curio. Empty crate? That's fine. Could be a lot worse than empty. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Let's use the shovel. Great. Okay. And... Awesome. Empty room, I think? Empty room. Let's refresh torches a bit and move forward. Uh, we got a battle, curio, and empty room. All right. Uh, hunger. Good thing we have food. We got four more for one more round of, uh, hunger, so we should be good to go, hopefully. All right. Shadow fade. Go. I'm really... This grave robber class is pretty rad, and I'm actually enjoying the, uh, the, uh, whatever you are. Also, the bounty hunter as well. Like, uh, this is, a. Uh, this turned out to be a pretty fun party makeup. Uh, start with the grape shot blast. Go. Soften him up. Beautiful. Nice. You're all evading so well. Thank you. Uh, heals needed. Uh, let's try this one. Yeah. There's like a chance if everybody needs healing that that could potentially do more efficient healing than just the uh, four to five health for one individual. But the four to five health for one individual is probably more consistent if we actually uh, get into a case where we need it. All right, I am marking you. Yeah. All right. It's all right, it's all right. Uh, let's pistol shot you. Another Beautiful. Um, you can suffer blight, and you should. So, here you go. Beautiful. It's going so well. So well. Less well. That's okay, though. Uh, you are so dead. Extremely. Yes. Good. Last one. Uh, chance for a heal. Crit! Yes! Ah, uh, Eleanor. Your champion. And now, pistol shot. Die. Heck yeah! That went very well. And we got money and a deed Success and a... So clearly in that. You. Or is it merely a trick of the light? You're supposed to be up front here. Hang on. There we go. Much better. Onward! We're gonna make it, everybody. Um... Alchemy table. Partially intact set of experimental equipment. This... 
is probably... I'm not going to do it. We got a good thing going here. We're near the end. No need for unnecessary risks. Okay. Empty room. Good, good, good. Uh, next up... A battle with treasure. A trap and another battle. Ugh. But it's the last room we gotta get to, so we just gotta make it through two battles and the trap, and we're good. We can do it. There's the trap. We spotted it. Hooray. Yes. All right. Just two fights, then. A stack of literary treasures in an unlikely location. Not taking chances. We got two fights to get through. Uh, and in fact, light it up. Let's go. Ring it. Okay. Uh, grape shot blast up front. Uh, can hit those. 35. Wow. Yeah, we got to start. Uh, we got to take that tank out. Um, hmm. You know, let's do open vein instead to start that one bleeding. Uh, because that's going to be valuable. Good. Can target everybody. Brutal. Diminished. Okay. Uh, mark for death. You. We need to start burning this big one down. Okay. You fall back. Perfect. Uh, start healing and don't stop healing. We need healing. 12 health, 13 health. But we need the healer safe. So, yeah. Okay, you'll get it next time, Izzy. Hang in there. Yeah! You're all getting so dodgy, I love it. Alright, that's fine. I'm bleeding, though. The bleeding's not great. Bleeding's not great. We do have two bandages, so that's good. Um, does it count as a turn using that? I don't think so. Um, I Let's try it and see what happens. Uh, okay, that wasn't the turn. Great. Uh, and let's collect bounty on this one. Do some damage. 13, solid. All right. Uh, and do a heal. Yes. Good, good, good. All right. You. Poison darts. Mm. That one. Solid. Uh, and you... Hmm. That one's already bleeding. Pistol shot. Uh. Hmm. It's gonna do higher damage to this one. Yeah, do just pistol shot. Let's keep eating through this one. Nice! Ten! That's very good. We're gonna make it, y'all. Just hang in there. You're alright. You're alright. Just don't suffer stress. You've been sitting at like 80 plus stress for a long time, Amber, and I'm really glad that you've not tipped over the edge there, Amber. Uh, okay. Uh, let's... Poison darts this one also. Not much damage, but that's alright. They will suffer damage over time. And do a Grape Shot Blast, I think, because that's going to kill this one for sure. And also do a little damage to this one. That one's going to die their next turn anyway. Don't even bother. Uh, do a Pistol Shot. Maybe take this one out. Yeah! Beautiful. It's all right. Ugh. It's adding up, though. In some bad ways. Um, hmm. 10, 8, 10, 11. Ugh. It's all bad. I think we gotta do this. That could have been a lot better. 
<laughs> that one's dead, though. So good. All right. You can kill this one. You totally can do it. Yeah, especially with a crit. Oh, man. This last fight is going to be a very tense one. But a victory nonetheless. Because we're going in with some low health. And everyone's bleeding. Oof. For how much longer? Two rounds, two rounds, two rounds. Ugh. Awful. Very bad. I'm saving that bandage for later for if it becomes apparent that it's gonna really do some particular good on one an individual. Oh boy. Light it up more in here, cause uh This is going to be close. Oof. Four of them too. That's not good. It's not good at all. Oh no. Affliction! Abusive? Oh no. What does that mean? What are you gonna do? Frustration and fury. More destructive than a hundred cannons. I don't know what that's gonna end up doing, but I don't like it. Uh okay. Uh oh, you already fell back. Whoops. Well, <laughs> I forgot to get you lined up properly. That's fine. You can start poison darting fools. Uh yeah. Yeah. Just start with the back row. Not good. Still not good. Mm. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. If you get up to 200 stress, I think that character's just done. I think they go mad. Uh, so hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully a lot of things won't happen here in this engagement because, uh, mm. off to a rough start. Uh, boy. I don't think we need to mark anyone for death. No one's super high HP compared to the rest. We just need to start chewing through our enemies fast. Fast as possible. And not dying. Oh, Amber. It's not looking good for you. It's looking very bad, in fact. Hang in there. Oh, boy. Oh, it's dicey, everybody. It's dicey. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Hmm. Try it again. All right, that's better. Still not phenomenal, but it's better. Oh gosh. It's so bad. Everything's bad. Uh. Finish that one. Not good. That is the worst news. This is also not good. Oh, yeah, thank goodness. You can still heal back there, and that's great. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm so nervous. Things are already getting so bad. Hey. Oh, that's what abusive does. You're inflicting stress on everybody else. Amber, no. Don't pay it forward. <laughs> uh. Gugh. It's only 2 HP, but I really want that one gone. No, you can do a lot more. Your damage potential is high. We need to... Yeah, that's what we need to do. Nice. Whew. We might make it through this. I think we're going to lose somebody, but we're going to make it through. 5 HP. Jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. As life ebbs. Of emptiness reveal themselves. Okay, when a hero is reduced to zero HP, they're at death's door. While in the state, they will suffer stat penalties, plus any further damage has a chance to kill them. Heal them to get them off death's door. Okay, we have a chance. Really counting on you. Eleanor. Ah, okay. Amber. Alas. Uh, all right. The first of many heroes has given their all in service to you. You have the option of retreating from combat and abandoning this quest to save the others or press onward. The choice is yours if this, the tutorial retreat is unavailable. Uh, no, we're fine. We're going to make it. There's only three left. We can, this is the last room. We can 100% do it. It's going to be close, but we can do it. Uh, oh, we can't lunge now. Mm. But we can... Hmm... Can shadow fade back or keep doing this? I'm going to do... 
I'm gonna do a shadow fade. I think that's gonna uh, hopefully pay off. Will you be able to heal if you get moved forward? You'll be able to divine comfort, but not heal. Ugh. I think we have to count on it at this point. Because we need to finish this fight quick. Okay. And you can do some damage here, too, so maybe that's actually the even better, smarter thing to do. Uh, additional damage versus unholy. And these are unholy. Except for that one, but still. Uh, finish this one. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, you. Open vein on that one. Beautiful. Start that bleeding. We can do this. You. Hmm. I want to lunge, but that'll take you to the front row again, and I don't necessarily need that right now. Ugh. Actually, no, do it and finish off this acolyte. Yeah. Do it. Yes. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Hopefully with no more deaths. Going to make it. Hang in there. Okay. You can pistol shot. Finish it. Whew, okay. <laughs> this game's so stressful already. <laughs> and we're so early on. Confidence is a slow and insidious killer. Take all. <sighs> um, so what do we got here? Unlock strong box. Sure. Contents are ours. And it's a gold, tiny bit of money. And baubles, paid for in blood. Boy, no kidding. You do not have room for it all. Oh. Um, well, let's... Heck, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we're losing this stuff anyway. Let's just eat food, I guess. And take it. Sure. All right. Well fought, everyone. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. Rip Ember. <laughs> Lots of stuff, though. That's great. Whew. Uh, alas. All right. Izzy, what do you got? Nervous? Oh, additional stress. That's bad. And uh, no stress penalty when walking backwards. Oh, that's nice, at least. Uh, and Eleanor. Minus one speed and additional scouting chance. Well, that's good, at least. Oof. A victory, but at heavy cost. The plume and the pistol. A bidding end to my folly, and a curse upon us all. Whew. Tough break. We're hanging in there, though. We got some more buildings. We're going to explore that stuff next time. Y'all, take it easy, and I will see you tomorrow for some more Darkest Dungeon. Goodbye!